Hello everyone, this is Carol and uh, today I will introduce one of the products in our company. It is a portable multi-gas detector. Here is a package of the gas detector. And for this package, you can see it. It is hand case, so it is very for your uh, engineers and for your workers carrying to some the environmental place. And inside of the package, there are some a lot of foam, so it will protect the gas detector, cannot damage during the international transportation. In this package, they will have one gas detector. It is a Paris. And here is one charger. And this is a collaboration cap. It will used for during the, your collaboration. You can fix it. Yeah. Now next, uh, I will introduce about uh, how to use this gas detector and about the basic functions. You can see this is a power on process. In the power on process, it will show a lot alarm, lower alarm and higher alarm. And now I will introduce how to use this gas detector and uh, it is the uh, main functions. So you can see for this portable gas detector, it is designed with a diffusion sampling in this place. There have the four sensors. So for this sample, uh, it is for the H2S and the oxygen CO CO and uh, combustible gas and there has a uh, four gas sensors and in the back of it it will have the back clip so you can fix the in your workers clothes uh, so uh, during some environmental place you can you don't need to uh, always uh, handle it you can fix it in your clothes and now next place, next part, I will introduce how to use this gas detector. You can see here is the alarm record. For this gas detector, it can storage around 1000 alarm data. And when you click it, you uh, it will show around the alarm record. And the uh, next one is the setting alarm level. You can set the lower alarm level and the higher alarm level because different customers have different requirements about the gas alarm. So uh, if you want to set the alarm level, you can click this button, the second and the third. <clears throat> the zero collaboration so what is the means of the zero collaboration and if you during the using you find the data results is not a currency when then you can put the gas detector working in some clean air around one hours or two hours then you can done the zero collaboration so after this process you will find the data currency will more the data results will more currency This one is a collaboration gas. So, so when you uh, in the future you want to collaborate this gas detector, you can click this the collaboration gas and uh, use this part. And next one is the setting time, setting time to to choose your country's time. Also, you can set the language. For this product, uh, because our company are professional for the international sales, so all of the product uh, are using English language, and also you can choose Chinese language or English language. So that's all about the portable multi-gas detector operating process. So next uh, part. So next part, I will introduce the normal questions and about the solutions. So first the questions, I will introduce about the when you find the data is not a currency, then maybe it is a problem that the sensor reaches lifetime because 
for the electronic sensor, the lifetime is around two or three years. And for the uh, uh, for the catalytic sensor, it is suitable for combustible gas. Uh, the sensor's lifetime is around the, also the three years. So if uh, if for TBOC gas, the sensor's lifetime is around five years. So if you find the data results is not a currency, maybe it is a problem that sensor reaches lifetime. So you can conduct with other colleges. Uh, they will they will conduct with other engineers to find the solutions. And uh, okay, the second question is the uh, time is not uh, not right. When you uh, set the time setting, you find uh, after future using, you find the date the time is not not correct. So maybe the battery is cannot uh, support for the gas detector. Maybe it is a gas detector lack of power. And uh, here I want to give uh, all of you some tips. It is for uh, storage the gas detector. Please storage the gas detector. The uh, for the temperature it is around uh, minus ten degree to the fifty t degree, and uh, around the humidity it is need to lower than the eighty five percent. So it will uh, more good for the data and for more good for the sensors and the battery because if you storage the gas detector in some higher humidity it will damage the battery so when the battery is damaged it cannot uh, support for the gas detector working and uh, the last part I will introduce how to collaboration the gas detector because it is a common question asked about by our customers so uh, in our company, we provide the three suggestions. The first is you can deliver the gas detector to our factory and our engineer will provide the free uh, collaboration service. And the second is you can, uh, if, your, if your company there has any engineer, engineers can are uh, good at the collaboration and our college will provide you the professional collaboration method and uh, which kind of equipment we are used in collaboration. Okay, so uh, the normal equipment in during collaboration, it will used. For this one, the collaboration cap, and another is a flow meter, also the collaboration gas, because the collaboration gas, it is gas, so uh, our company uh, cannot deliver the gas for the international delivery, so you can so you can purchase the collaboration gas in your local countries. And the third one we suggest is you can find the local stores that they provide the collaboration service. So you can find them helps. It will save a lot of delivery times because you don't need to deliver China. And that's all about this portable gas detector. Okay, if you have any questions about it, you can contact with other colleges and they will help you. And so, this time, bye-bye.